Hi, this is Paul Terpster with Clover Products, and today I want to talk about the setup of the Clover Box uh, enclosure for parabolic microphones, commonly used for uh, baseball applications. As you can see, this is a bare unit without the uh, parabolic installed, so we'll show you how to install the parabolic and set it up. As you can see, there is a steel wire mesh in front of the parabolic to protect it from uh, stray balls and so forth. And we'll begin by removing that mesh. Um, there are two screws that hold the um, adjusting apparatus to the uh, aluminum extrusion. So we'll begin by removing those two screws or loosening them up. A uh, five millimeter Allen wrench is required to uh, loosen them. Once they are loose, uh, they can be turned by uh, hand. And once they are loose, the nuts will rotate uh, and pivot so that they can be um, removed from the extrusion. The entire uh, plate can be removed from the extrusion. Once that uh, adjustment plate is uh, removed, we can remove the extrusion itself. That is used, done using an eight millimeter Allen wrench. And uh, as there are two screws holding that extrusion in, you will want to alternate from one side to another uh, in removing those screws so that they come out uh, more or less evenly. If you do try to take out one screw completely before the other, they will uh, tend to jam and cause some difficulties. Once the extrusion is loose, it can be set to the side and the wire mesh can be removed. It just slides out of the vertical aluminum extrusions. Uh, once you are at this uh, situation, you can install the parabolic microphone. The enclosure is uh, constructed for a 16 inch um, Clover mic or a KM16. Um, again, as normal, the uh, Parabolic mounts using the quick release connectors that we have on all of our uh, handles. So you can just snap it into place. This may take just a little bit of uh, dexterity, but I think you'll be able to uh, get it, and it only needs to be done that one time. At this point, uh, once the microphone uh, or parabolic is installed, this is when you would install and uh, focus your uh, mic uh, pickup, your electronic pickup into the unit. Uh, that is discussed in a separate uh, video on assembling the KM16 microphone. So at this point, we'll just install the mic bar. And again, once the microphone is installed and uh, adjusted, that would not have to be redone on a week-to-week -week basis. Uh, that would uh, remain intact as the uh, unit is shipped from location to location. All right, once the microphone is installed and focused, uh, you're ready to reassemble the box. So we'll begin by sliding the aluminum extrusion or the uh, wire mesh into the aluminum extrusion. Uh, do pay some attention to the orientation of the holes in the mesh for uh, pointing or focusing the uh, parabolic on the proper location. Uh, there is a single hole at the bottom of the uh, parabolic, which right now is the top of the box as we see it. 
Once the wire mesh is slid into place, we will install the uh, aluminum extrusion in place. Again, as there are two screws, you will want to uh, alternate between the two screws uh, so that they move down somewhat equally. Um, these screws are not uh, rigidly contained, so you do have to be a little bit uh, careful about them moving around as you are installing it. But once they're in place, it goes down rather smoothly. You may need to uh, move the uh, upholstery of the padded panels uh, out of the way if they uh, bind on the extrusion. So you'll have to keep a little bit of an eye out for that. Again, alternate from side to side to uh, avoid binding. As you can imagine, it's a little uh, more difficult doing it from behind in this manner than if I was in the front. But we now have the uh, two screws tightened down and it is ready to be um, I'm sorry we have to reinstall the uh, adjuster uh, mechanism the adjuster mechanism needs to be put back into the aluminum extrusion uh, you can loosen the screws by hand and then uh, the nuts will rotate and once the nuts um, are finger tight you can go back again with a five millimeter uh, allen wrench and tighten those screws and for right now we will um, assume that you can uh, tighten those screws and that is the uh, complete setup of the uh, of the box uh, when the box is in position the focus or uh, targeting of the microphone is done by these three hex screws which you see here it uh, requires a uh, socket and uh, uh, ratchet that is a three-quarter inch uh, ratchet is what you want and you can stick it in the wire mesh and move each of the three corners of the uh, adjustment plate in or out to focus or aim the uh, parabolic on the uh, proper location and that completes the uh, the setup of the clover box if uh, you have any questions our contact information is at the end of this video or on our website uh, please feel free to contact us thank you